and they'll even tell me they'll say I've got all these crystals and this you know dream catcher and all this stuff that that I use also and I'm like get rid of all that stuff get rid of all your crystals especially if you think that that's helping you get rid of your dream catchers get rid of all your cult stuff anything like that because I'm telling you everything that I use and only the power that I use is Christ so when he does give you healing you'll know it's not Christ and these crystals or Christ and the dream catcher it's just Christ that's it it's really unfortunate that most churches they've neglected this ministry for so long they have no idea uh, how to really embrace it and that's part of what this book is for is to help people to start coming back into it and learn how to be able to embrace this ministry there are times where it does take more than just prayer but that's all they know how to do it does take more often actually i would say in my ministry a very small amount of them that's all that was needed is just to pray over a person and they were healed and it was miraculous and right at that time and that's wonderful when it does happen but part of the reason why it needs more is because of the extreme idolatry that is happening right now christians are struggling with demonic issues they shouldn't be and that's the thing most churches will say you have christian faith you shouldn't you, you can't have a demon that's not true they shouldn't be but today it is very common and unfortunately it usually takes people that are leaders in the church to have someone very close to them that they know has faith and then they see them struggling with spiritual issues and it has to shockingly show them obviously my beliefs are wrong 